Throughout my life, I have always seen physical attractiveness as the pinnacle of beauty. I believe that as long as you are good looking, everyone will automatically like you. Whenever I feel insecure, I always make an excuse to myself that the only reason that women won't like me is because of my atrocious facial structure and because of nothing else. However, as I learn from my experiences, some wisdom from my friends, and information from the internet, I discovered that this was far from the truth. I have had many crushes in the past. I like them because of their good looks. I like them because they are funny. I like them because of their cool hobbies. Other times, I just liked how they laughed at my jokes and paid full attention to me every time I speak. The key word here is the word like. As you can see, you use the word like when you agree or feel positively about something. Some examples are, Hey, I like your shirt. And when you ask them, Why do you like my shirt? Because I liked how it fits you. I liked its color. I liked its graphic. Hey, I like your shoes. Why do you like my shoes? Because I like the design. I like the colorway. And I like those brand of shoes. You see, Liking something means liking numerous things about it, and the same can be applied in liking a person. You see, when you like a person, more often than not, there is no singular reason as to why you like them. You like a person because you like all of their likable traits as a collective. If you like a single trait about a person, then the only thing you like is that singular trait and not the person themselves. With this in mind, we can conclude that physical attractiveness is not the end-all be-all of being likable. Instead, there are a plethora of things that we must assess in ourselves if we want to be likable. We must change how we look at likable and attractive people. We must rethink our conception about attractiveness. Also, if your facial structure will be a turn-off for someone, then that person will not be worth your time and attention to begin with. Realistically, if we want to change ourselves for the better, the only things we can change are the things that are inside of our control. If you are insecure about your looks, there are other things such as our fashion taste, how we wear makeup, how we wear perfume, and fixing our posture. We can also learn how to have better social skills such as keeping a conversation going and having a good sense of humor. We can start working out, we can find a new hobby, we can change how we think of ourselves, we can start doing whatever it is that will make us happy and feel good about ourselves. Also, we can choose to stop waiting for other people's validation. Instead, we should cherish the people who will genuinely like us for who we truly are. Oh.